early days of Nazi occupation of Poland. Well, in 1940, I was trying to make a profit in any way that I could, and that, would, that was relying on cheap Jewish labor at the time. I made money by selling black market goods to SS officers in Krakow, which was the center of Nazi uh, activity in Poland. It was at this time I met my dear friend Isaac Stern, who would become my, uh, my accountant that would work for my, my factory. We developed a very close relationship, and Isaac and I became very good friends. At the end of 1940, all non-Jewish work, non-essential Jewish workers were forced to leave the city, which caused panic. So what happened next? In 1942, the Nazis began re relocating all the Jewish residents of Krakow. Uh, my Jewish workers actually got uh, sent down to the tram station. I had to race down there to um, save their lives, basically. I had to bribe the guards. At this point, did you witness the evacuation of the Krakow ghetto? Yes, I did. And it was the most horrifying thing in my life. I developed the list in 1944 with my friend Isaac. Um, we, all of our workers were being forced to evacuate and were forced to be transferred to uh, labor camps. And so I basically bribed the Nazi, the SS, to let me move my factory to Czechoslovakia where I would make um, uh, bullets and rounds for uh, the army. Uh, so I moved them to uh, I moved the factory to Czechoslovakia along with uh, a couple hundred of my workers, and at this point I was forced to choose who would get to come with me to my factory and who would get sent off to labor camps. And, yeah, that's the end. Right. So why did you do it? In the years 1941 and 1942, there was plenty of public evidence of pure sadism, with people behaving like pigs. I felt like the Jews were being destroyed. I had to help them. There was no choice.